Hello everyone, today we are going to look at sheets where we forget the password and they are protected and we have protected them. Uh, for example, this one, if I want to make any changes, I get the cell or the chart you are trying to change is a protected sheet to make a change unprotected sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. Actually, the problem is that I have forgotten the password. So what can I do now? This is just a small sheet, but this the sheet could be big and uh, you may have to make a lot of changes and uh, this uh, uh, because you forgot the password uh, it can actually be great trouble you may have to do everything from scratch but you need you do not need to worry because there is a way when uh, even if you forget the password you can unprotect this sheet so let's get on with this uh, first of all we are going to close this sheet okay i don't okay now this is the sheet that we are talking about and the problem here now is that uh, this sheet is it has a protected sheet and uh, i have forgotten the password so before doing anything we need to make a copy please do that because you can easily corrupt your file you can simply copy and paste and you, now you have a copy here so you have this sheet the original data now let's work with this okay I have uh, actually highlighted the extensions you can uh, easily go to view and file check this file name extensions if you do it so you know you uh, will be able to see these so here uh, I am going to rename this from XLSX to zip okay it is going to give me a warning but I will ignore it okay now I'm here now let's uh, get into these okay here uh, it's a trial version uh, okay here you need to go into XL the folder XL I went in there here you are going to see worksheets you go inside worksheet and this was sheet number one so you open you simply open this sheet okay I have this you know this uh brightly colored stuff okay here i'm gonna look for control f protect so okay so the protection is here so okay oh, if you do not find protection in sheet one so it would be in sheet two sheet three because the names uh, could be different uh, than sheet one it could be someone may have modified those sheets uh, the names and actually have forgotten if this was the first sheet or the second sheet because you can actually move around stuff so it's here so sheet protection is available here so this is my sheet one so I'm going to close this and okay here let me I'm going to make a copy of sheet one I'm gonna control C and paste it here here I'm going to open this with notepad okay now this actually is even more complex but you know you do not need to worry you need to find protect or protection it's here okay now you actually have to delete this this is the opening bracket till and you go slowly slowly you select the data and you go till the ending bracket be careful because uh, you may uh, corrupt the file if you are not careful enough uh, so let me okay here it is so we are here after this and you just simply press backspace and you close this and save it 
okay done now this is saved you copy this go to the zip file again and you actually okay first you actually you actually delete this remove the sheet one you don't want it and press ok it's done now here you go back and simply change the extension x l s x you change it you open this sheet it's opening enable the content okay and if you check here you can now yes it works so this is how you unprotect the sheet okay thank you i hope you liked this and if you did uh, please subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you would know when new videos come out